Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Arsene and this is Dynamic Modeling of Cities 2019 channel and we are highlighting today how to make paths be followed by particles and also to highlight different velocity and speed within that to highlight different movement. Could be movement of a creature, movement of a car or movement of a person throughout a building or site or whatever your heart does desire. So what we're going to try to do is highlight what we have done here. So we have two Typho edits in this as well. So you've got Typho 1 and Typho 3. But there's just essentially two different type flows that we've been attempting to use in order to highlight the end goal. So let's highlight what it looks like right now. We play the video. So that's the idea. So it follows the spline or the path or line with its particles from a point that is at a gravity of zero. Then it goes with the center of attraction to the line itself on a flat horizontal axis as it follows the line. And then one in line is faster than the other, as you can see. The green line being faster, that's so that can represent a car, while the blue line is representing a movement of people throughout a site. You can highlight that as two different types of movement. And to do so, you need to have two tie flow windows and two separate modifications for each. It's the ex pretty much the exact same thing, but the first tie flow edit needs to be a birth burst. It can all be a birth, it does not matter. It just needs to be a birth of particles either way. And then from there, you'll go into a position icon, and then you'll change the location of the position icon to a pivot. And to get a new position icon, you just press create new and it gives you that surface which you can use. We won't be using that surface because it won't be something of use at the moment for us because we already have one right there. You place that surface where the particles will be for the birth and then right underneath it and then it will start from there and then be much be grouped in that surface in that position. And then from there you want to use a speed modifier alongside the icon arrow. So it's usually on random 3D. You change that to a long icon arrow instead, and then you can play the magnitude of one of them to increase the speed of it, like we've done here, to 121, so it gives it a more of an increased speed for the particles to move at, and then you use a send out modifier on there as well, which you can find right over here. A very easy thing to do, nothing hard to do at all, and then from there you want to do a path follow, which is the function right over here. You drag that into a separate event, and then you tag the two events together like so, just by pretty much bringing this line here, and then do the exact same thing. Uh, and then it'll be pretty much linked together as a chain reaction. From there, you go to the path follow, select the line that you want, then press pick, then add. Once the line has been added into it, you can play with the velocity, the attraction, and start decreasing the numbers to what your end goal may be. We try and drop down the particles as low as possible to the ground surface or the ground plane in order for that. And these are the settings that we use in order to reach that intent for that. And the displays, you can still leave them as small dots or large dots, whatever you want. It won't change the outcome. The idea is that you see particles move. You can change them to other devices if you wanted to, say, put a new icon in there and have a car icon. That's something you could possibly do. But you have to model a car for it as well. But this is just the basic particle effect of that with the particles moving out from there. So that's what you notice in the green line or the right uh, T-flow over there highlighting the faster velocity for the particles to move at compared to the one that's on the left. But the one on the left, the reason why it's been slowed down, it's pretty much the same TY flow modification, but at one point in the next event two, you want to pull a slow modifier on there and change the velocity of that slow by 25%. Once you've done that, it will slow down the particles to a slower speed and that can be managed in order to highlight a human movement or a creature's movement within Kern Park for our research project. That's the goal and intent that you'll be using it for to highlight movement through a building, a space, a land, a site, and also in future reference, you can use collisions as well. So when it collides, it can reach a stop or bounce off it, followed by attraction to other objects. There's a whole bunch of interesting applications that gets into entail with this, but obviously your event library in Typhlow will be insane. It'll be one by one, just everything's just completely doing a chain reaction. So you gotta be careful of that and be able to manage it well, because if you do stuff it at one point and you don't know how to fix it, you will start to get lost. But you can delete modifications from TY flow just by pressing delete on and by clicking the slow modifier or the path uh, follow and then deleting it from there. But it gives you options for that. And that is pretty much all for this video to highlight movement of creatures people, cars, whatever you need it to be that you can represent in 3ds Max while using Typhlo as well as an aid to the system. That is all for this video. I'll catch you guys later.